Hello everybody and welcome to a quick tutorial. Danny here from Retro Millennia. I wanted to show you how to fix your lack of new titles text in Adobe Premiere Pro 2017. With the new update that just came out, they removed a key feature in adding new text titles. Like if you wanted to animate a text title, they've moved it to being a legacy title now. And it's kind of frustrating because it kind of hinders the way that you make your text and how quickly you can work use your workspace so normally in Adobe Premiere Pro you would just go right here under new item and then there would be a new title button here but they've removed it so what they've done is if you go to file new and go to legacy title right here boom there it is just like normal will pop up as it always did and then you can just do it like normal but that's really annoying so one quick workaround you can do with that is you can go to edit and then go to keyboard shortcuts and once your keyboard high uh, shortcuts have come up all you got to do is type in legacy and then legacy title will come up here and then just assign it to whatever you want I would I usually do like control and then you could set it like control Y because this one is unassigned that's why it's grayed out that's one way you could do it and then every time you hit control Y a new title will pop up or you can use the new feature that they're doing and I'm not gonna go too much in depth but it's under graphics now so once you've clicked on graphics you're gonna have to import something over here into your layout to make sure that you can actually add a new title under the essential graphics right here so you would click under edit and then right here under the little tab you can see that's like the new item icon it's very similar to the one that's down here you'd click it and then just click text and then it pops up right here on screen and then from there you can control it by either be if you're on your little arrow key right here which is also the hotkey for v you can move it around you can resize you can change the uh rotation the point of origin for rotation and then of course you can still like you can change the color so i can make it red and then i can stroke the outline to be white and change the outline like that and add a drop shadow if i wanted just like normal it's a little bit more simplified and now if you didn't notice, as soon as I made something new, it automatically dropped it onto the timeline above. It doesn't drop it on top of it, like if you move it right here, but it drops it on the next video open spot. So if there were four different things here, if I made another new one, it would drop it above this new text layer, which is important to know that it'll drop it whichever one is open on the timeline right here. It won't drop it wherever you want it to. It will drop it to the time correct timestamp, but not on the correct video track. So if you want to move it around, so this is like above another one below, you'd have to move it around. Hopefully this has been helpful in understanding now how you can remap either finding your old text under legacy title or just going to the keyboard shortcuts and remapping it or just moving forward with the new graphics tab and then adding it in here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and if you have any questions, just drop a comment down below and I will be more than glad to help out. Thanks for watching, guys.